Part one, white clouds, horse bow moon, rumors of a reaper. I think this is the eighth month. As cold air begins to creep in from the north of Fargus, Fodlin welcomes the riches of fall. Yep. The women spend their days reaping the golden fields, gratefully embracing the bounty the goddess has once again provided. The men venture into the wilds with horse bows and empty sacks ready to be filled with game. Okay. Welcome back one and all to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, we went to deal with Casanova's brother, and he turned into a giant monster. That's a thing. As I believe you are already aware, Sedith's younger sister Flane has gone missing. At present, all we know for certain is that she has not left Garrick Mach. Flane is not the type of person to just wander off on her own without telling me where she is going. We have searched the monastery thoroughly, but have found nothing. I am now mobilizing the knights to begin searching the town. Troubling rumors have been running rampant lately. I do not wish to consider the worst, but... What is it you're afraid of? You need to talk with me. There are rumors of someone prowling the streets and attacking innocents night after night. The Knights have investigated the matter. They have not discovered any remains, nor have they found any concrete evidence. The people are panicked. They all insist someone called the Death Knight is coming to claim their souls with his blade. I've had an encounter with him. There is no way she could have escaped unscathed if she were captured by such a fiend. Where is she? Seteth, recall that impatience begets error. Please do your best to calm yourself. I think of your sister as family as well. You know that. You have my support. We will devote ourselves fully, mind, body, and soul, to recovering her. Professor, your mission for this month is to help find Flane. The knights have the town covered, so I ask that you focus your efforts on searching the monastery again. We do not have time to waste. You have your orders. Right. Understood. Flame has disappeared? Seteth must be beside himself. So, finding little Flane is our mission for this moon? Leave it to me, Professor. Chasing after girls is my specialty. Sylvain, so, now is not the time. Sylvain. So even you must agree that now isn't the time for jokes. I hope Flane is okay. I've heard rumors about some death knight running around town. I've had my encounters with him. Here in the monastery, that's how I got the blade of the creator. Quite a nice sword. Sounds intriguing. I have been hoping to cross blades with him. Felix, he will destroy you. Felix, please consider how Sedith must be feeling right now. In any case, we must start our search at once. Every moment matters. On your order, Professor. Let's try to collect as much information as we can. I'm on the lookout for suspicious individuals. The only place I've yet to check is the library. Well, we'll go together. As you wish. If someone's up there, I'd like to have Candlelight. some backup. And who is that? Is it Flame? No, it isn't. Impossible. Professor, to do. What are you up to at this hour? Your Highness, my apologies. Dimitri, what are you doing here? Oh, none necessary. I'm sorry for startling you. I was just doing some research. But I'm just about finished. I didn't realize how late it had gotten. We'd better head back to our quarters to do. Until tomorrow, Professor. What was that about? Unusual man. Whatever could he have been looking for so late at night? Hmm? That book. 
book is quite askew. He must have rushed to put it back upon the shelf. Book. What? It what is it? It seems to be a record of donations from nobility. Arundel. That's not a name I know. But look at that. This Arundel gave quite a sum each year. That is, until the year 1174. That he must have really died or fallen to financial woe. Hmm. I can't imagine what this has to do with Flame. Nothing, as far as I'm concerned. But wait and see. It's Petra's birthday. I'll give her some flowers. Gratitude. Dimitri? I consider how Seteth must be feeling. My heart breaks. We must find Flane as soon as possible. There are no signs of her having left the monastery, but we cannot safely rule out any possibility just yet. I'm wasting precious time standing about trying to think of a solution. I'll survey the monastery and see what information I can gather. There must be someone who has a clue as to Flane's whereabouts. Will you do me a favor? I just gotta go talk to a whole bunch of people. Hmm? Lenny. Where could Flane have gone? Do you think she's really been kidnapped? Maybe. I hear Tomas has been going around asking about her. But he's probably just worried like the rest of us. Though it wasn't just Flane. He was asking about you and Captain Gerald, too. Hmm. Hey, I hope we get a chance to practice together when you find the time. I know I'm in a different class, but you're the only other person here who's learned from Captain Gerald. Strength and Lance, okay. for Flane's kidnap. I can't say anything for sure, but I do have suspicions about Yuritsa. There's something about how he's handling his blade lately. It seems more impulsive than usual. Hello, pot meat kettle. It couldn't hurt to try speaking with him at least. At this hour, I think you'll find him sparring with Catherine at the training grounds. There are some supports. With Dadu and Annette. Ah! No! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Please tell me that wasn't the pin! What was that noise? Dadu! Well, as you can see, the pan kind of exploded. Just a little. How did you manage that? I looked away for a moment and the pan just went boom! Ugh, I'm grateful nothing caught fire, but now the kitchen is a mess. Are you hurt? Oh, no. I just got a little spooked. <laughs> I really lucked out, didn't I? That could have turned out much worse. Indeed. But do not turn your back next time. Your life could depend on it. Right. Sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. Let me help you. Huh? 
I will help you clean up. No, I can't let you do that. This is all my fault. You shouldn't have to help me. I have time. Let us fix this quickly. We will need to prepare more food before the others arrive at the dining hall. Oh, you're right. So, after we clean up, you're also gonna help me cook? You object? Of course not. I'm just so sorry to bother you with this. You're a nice guy to do. Top of it. Hey. Is it no? What the? What am I looking for? Is it huh? Sylvain? Wow. Ingrid just about slapped the teeth out of my head. Good. What I did was suggest that Flane might have eloped. That's quite an insensitive joke, man. Insensitive? I was just exploring possibilities. Right. There you are. I hope Flane isn't going hungry. If someone really kidnapped her, I'll never forgive them. Now that I think about it, I saw Aloise hanging out by the pond not too long ago. He was always getting into trouble for trying to talk to Flame, you know? It's probably a crazy thought, but I'm starting to worry. Thank you. appreciate any good meal, but nothing beats enjoying my favorite food. That looks appetizing. There's the little shut-in. She's adorable. I quite enjoy cooking. I've said this before, cooking? but I rather sure. enjoy it. That sounds nice. Let's make a delicious meal. You're I like to think to I'm good at making pan seared right? salmon. What a waste. We should use it in our dish. Yes, I agree. I mean, it's really not that hard. You cook it on both sides for just a couple minutes. guy down here, I might as well talk to him. Oh, this guy. Hey there, Professor. Did you want to talk? What? Me? Abduct Flay? You can't really believe I did that. Not at all. I hear she was always yelling at you. No, that's just because of my dumb jokes. She says that they're not very good. <laughs> But if I went around kidnapping everyone who said that, the whole monastery would be empty. <laughs> okay, let's get some training where you don't have any training I want to get on. I'm going to try a little bit of fishing, just because I might as well. I don't want fishing a... Oh, what? It was either Tuesday or Wednesday I went fishing. Agar! 
But on Earthworm, not a chance in hell. Gar don't like bait like that. They like live bait. They're predators. They're predatory fish. They're not going to go after an Earthworm. I've caught one on a minnow before. And you shell them out and cook them with some Creole seasoning, they're quite good. Yeah, they're a bit annoying to clean, but what you do is you sh you cut them up the poop chute, shell them out, rinse the meat off, and you can roll it in li solid line of meat. You can roll it in lemon pepper and Creole seasoning and just cook it real slow on a pan with butter. That's some good shit right there. Fishing mini game. Good enough. Pike. Never caught a pike. They're a cold water fish. And I live in Texas, so you do the math. Good enough. Add a bait. You cannot pet a dog in Fire Emblem Three Houses, which is disappointing to say the least. Hi there. Would you help me out? Sure. No. You sell weaponry, correct? Oh, that's the blacksmith. I'm guessing this quest you need me to do will unlock the blacksmith. Welcome. Need to go through everyone's inventory, make sure I don't have any boy boyin. Will this one do? Many thanks. one do? Many thanks. Will this one do? Many thanks. And I'm out of money. Okay. Come back soon. Professor? Someone over here has a quest for me. I could use your help. Sure. Ingrid. <sighs> to think that Flame would disappear like this. Sadath must be worried sick. I haven't much to go off of, and perhaps it's out of line for me to feel so uncomfortable. But something has been bothering me for a while about Gilbert. I feel as though I've met him somewhere before. I also noticed him staring intently at Annette once. Hmm. Okay. seen her she's been abducted oh you're looking for her sorry my mind was somewhere else I just recently learned she has a crest did you know that professor 
If it was a particularly rare crest, I could imagine Professor Hanneman would have quite an intense interest in her. Hmm. Oh, no, I'm not accusing Professor Hanneman of abducting Flane. Huh? Your class? I can see the appeal, yes. However, I still have a lot of books I wish to read in this class. But talk to me again, okay? Magic and reason? Okay. Young Flame's disappearance is most troubling. What? Who would suspect me? You know what? I'll tell you who. A fool. That's who. Is her crest rare enough to justify kidnapping her? Flame's crest, the major crest of Sethleen, is rare. But there are others who possess it. Okay, what do you have for me? A bow, magic, a sure. Young Flip, what? Who would suspect me? Alas, however, I cannot do any more faculty training with you. Oh, I completed a person's quest without even realizing. Let's go back and talk to them. Hello. Hey. Hello there. <laughs> Professor. Knew I could count on you. Hey there. Is this it? Sure. There you go. Okay. Come back anytime. Oh, I can repair weapons as well. That's good to know. That is what you are thinking? And the villain is inside our monastery? Hmm. Uh, you're not from around here, mittens. are you? One person has been catching my eye. Shamir is a knight not like other knights. Her movements are being reminders of... I don't know. They remind me of warriors of Bridget. Before she was here, what was she getting up to? Okay, Your training recruit. has given me great busyness right now. It is not a good time for the chatting, but you have given me intrigue. You Please remind me sure of Starfire. Again. Dexterity and writing, okay. Hey, Professor, have you seen Manuela? I saw her running off somewhere in a terrible hurry. I wonder if it has anything to do with Flane's disappearance. Do you know, Professor? You're on first names with prof with the professor? Uh, yes. Didn't you know? She was the senior diva in our opera company. I do find you very interesting, professor. I'm just not sure if it's enough to change classes. Hmm. Let me think about it a bit more. Uh, charm and authority? I don't know. I'm getting a lot of run around looking for Flane. And Hello. It just keeps hey. leading me a, with a lot what? of back and forth. Hello. Shamir. What brings you here? I'm taking a break. Is this about Flane? You find me suspicious. <laughs> You're not from around not here. True. Your point being. I understand that I don't fit in among the Knights of Saros, but that hardly links me to Flane's disappearance. I agree, just had to ask. You can train me? In the way of the lance and the bow. Uh, no thank you. Professor? Uh, uh, okay, now I see. 
I will yes. do what I can to support the search. Mm -hmm. It seems that you are a bit suspicious of me. Might I ask your reasons? Why were you asking about my father? It has been two decades since I last knew Gerald, yet he looks nearly identical to my memory of him. It is only natural to be curious, don't you think? I assure you, there is nothing more to it than that. So you're just jealous of his good looks. Okay, sure. Can I seriously just say that? Gerald's an alright looking dude. Uh. Definitely not someone I would want to take in a fight. I hope you're up for a challenge. Sure. Professor? About Flane? It's just one thing after another this year, I swear. Some of the lower ranked knights are searching for her in the town. If they find anything, I'll know. What? Yuritsa? Hmm. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him today. What would make you suspect him? The mask he wears. I see. Well, I'll let the knights know. Bane of monsters, that's handy. I still have much to learn. Professor, have you still not found any leads? I have looked everywhere. Not even the knights on guard have seen anything of note. We'll find her. Yes. Let us work together. It reassures me to have you by my side. May the goddess protect dear Flane until she returns to us. What do you train in? Swords, fist, and magic, both light and dark. May I ask a favor of you? Do some planting. A 
Okay, I only have so much space to plant. Okay. I can't believe Flame just... Oh, are you Alois and Shamir and all... I learned all sorts of things. Cleaning, chopping. I'm happy to help you out with anything you need done for your class. You betcha. I'm... Since, you know, you can't exactly... Cool. I can't believe Flame... Oh, Alois... I can't believe... Oh, Alois... I don't know... I don't know. What this kid specializes in. Flane's whereabouts are unknown. Pray she is safe. We do not seem to have any. I am one of the sus. Well, hopefully, I can lay your suspicions to rest. Do you know of my, let's call it, unique situation? Who you actually are. I was once a knight in service to the Fargus royal family. If Ingrid believes she saw me before, it was likely in Ferdiad, the kingdom capital. Annette is. She is my. But no, I would appreciate it, Professor, if you would ask no more. Is she... wait. Red hair. She's your daughter. Because of Flane's disappearance, all of the knights are searching non-stop. But we haven't found a single lead. Sedith's face is getting paler by the minute. It's hard to watch. What's that? You're looking for Manuela? Well, I did pass by her earlier. She was carrying something. A mask of some sort. I'm not close to the guy, so I can't say for sure. But come to think of it, you could be right. Yuritsa is our prime suspect. Professor, thanks for your help. What? Professor Monuela ran off with Professor Yuritsa's mask? I have a bad feeling about this. We must find them both at once. Professor Yuritsa will be at the training grounds or his quarters. I believe the ladder can be found on the eastern side of the Knight's Hall. And that's everything to do today. Today is my birthday. A brooch. Yes. Oh, this takes me back. I used to love this when I was a child. This is my absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? Yeah. I thought I heard someone. Are you here to train? Yes. Care to train with me? Sure. Waving the sword around alone is boring. And I'm tired of crossing swords with worthless opponents. 
But you seem like a worthy adversary. Yeah, sure, why not? I've always been interested in your technique. You learned from the former captain of the Knights of Seros, and traveled Fodlin fighting as a mercenary. On top of that, you wield a hero's relic, the legendary Sword of the Creator. Good sparring partners like you don't grow on trees. But know that I will beat you, and I will surpass your strength. Why are you focused on becoming stronger? Why? Hmm. I never really thought about that. I learned to thrust a sword before I learned to write my name. Of course, my upbringing wasn't unique. That's how it is for all children in my country. You're no use if you can't swing a sword, however mighty your crest may be. Hmm. It was the perfect environment for me. I could live free of stodgy values and virtues. Grow strong so you may live, and live to grow stronger. That's what I was taught. Don't you have any other ambitions? Why should I? Nothing's as important as the pursuit of strength. But that's enough idle chatter. Take out your sword. My mind is emptied of all but the thrill of the challenge. As you wish. Interesting. Mercedes would like to speak with you. Sure. Good evening, Professor. Returning from work, I take it? Yes. I commend you for working so late into the evening. All of my days at the Academy are enriching thanks to you. Try not to overtax yourself, all right? I'm concerned for your health. We wouldn't want you to wear yourself out. The Goddess won't smite you if you rely on others for help, you know. Even so. Listen here, Professor. You might not like what I'm about to say. To be perfectly honest, I had my doubts when I first met you. That's surprising. Why is that? At first, I thought you seemed too young to be a professor. It is unusual, you have to admit. Yet, you seemed very composed and mature despite your age. You're strong-willed, encouraging, and you go to great lengths to ensure that everyone is cared for. But it almost feels like you're trying too hard to be a perfect role model for your students. Comes with the territory. If that's how you feel, then I can't disagree. But I think it's necessary to give yourself a break every now and again. The mind has a tendency to make mistakes when you've exhausted yourself. In True. my case, I still seem to make mistakes even when I'm wide awake. <laughs> oh, your precious mistakes. Oh, you know, I'm always mixing up the dates for drills or misplacing things. Just the other day, I forgot to put on my uniform and headed out to practice wearing only my... Oh, um, well, you can imagine how embarrassed I was. My mind can be so scattered sometimes. <laughs> you poor thing. Anyway, where was I? Ah, oh, that's right. What I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't push yourself too hard. If you do, you might end up in a pretty bad place. That reminds me, is there anything I can do to assist you, Professor? If it's all right with you, I'd like to help in any way I can. Thank you. I appreciate that. Whatever you need, just say the word. I look forward to helping you out. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Ugh, I'm with Ingrid? I'm not gonna get away with anything. Stop messing around and get moving. You don't work, you don't eat. Fine, fine. Let's do this. Forgot they're on Skywatch. Seems we finally finished. That's it. I'm done. No more work for me. Especially not with her. Not in a million years. Suck it up, Sylvain.
I've deepened my understanding. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses. As I, I'm not even sure what I do here. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.